Yes, okay, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. The Lord is what? In his temple. And he's also good. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> Even without being in his temple, he's still good. All the time. How you doing, Elvin? I hope the missus is doing fine. And the boys coming along. Yeah. Good. All well, right. good to see you. Good to see yeah, all of you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to do something this morning. Uh, Cause last week we talked about the full, full armor of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a piece of that armor mm -hmm. and s see how it works. You probably already experienced it in your own relationship with Jesus Christ, but for me, I think it's good to review what it really does and how we can really protect ourselves from the onslaughts of the wicked one. Because he is uh, out to lead the sheep astray mm -hmm. and to have them wondering about the shepherd. Mm -hmm. If you don't have the armor on, you, it's already been issued, but are you actually using it? Mm -hmm. I think that is one of the key factors in a, a, a believer's life as far as expressing Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. We've been given the whole armor of God in Christ Jesus, but are we using that armor to protect from the onslaughts of the wicked one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's so deceitful yes, he is. that he can actually have you thinking you're trusting God mm -hmm. and you're actually relying on another source than God. In the book of Ephesians chapter 6, I believe we're going to look at that just briefly, then we're going to go to the book of uh, uh, Matthew. In the sixth, sixth chapter of the book, right about the 16th verse, And above all things, taking the shield of faith mm -hmm. that you may <coughs> quench the darts, all the fiery darts of the wicked one. But actually, we want, to, we want to pay attention to verse 14 because you have to have on the breastplate of what? Righteousness. Yes. I think there's a first mention that God, that Paul uses mm -hmm. to help the Christian to prepare himself for the onslaughts of the wicked one. Stand therefore having your loins girded about with truth yes. having on the blessed breastplate of righteousness mm -hmm. and back at Matthew chapter 4 Jesus helps the believers see how to use that armor mm -hmm. Father in the name of Jesus we love you, and we adore you. We are your servants. We bow at your feet, Jesus. We open our heart and our ears and our spiritual ears to those things that you desire us to hear. Help us see the particular maneuver and way to use, allow the breastplate of righteousness to protect us from the onslaughts of the wicked one. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 It's, you see here, now I'm thinking Jesus, and I think the scripture verified that. He's our model, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If we need to look to someone for righteousness, we look to who? Jesus. 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 We don't look to Pastor Harvey, or Ellen Myers or Deacon, anybody. We all, all of us men will produce righteousness, but you look to the main source of righteousness, which way is in Christ Jesus. He's the main source. If we keep that in, in perspective, I think we'll, we may be all right. But if you start to rely on someone else's opinion about righteousness, you're in, you're in trouble. But I, I heard the song this must enable me to trust me, trust you, Jesus. You're my good you are shepherd. I want to trust the what the good shepherd and not the shepherd, but I want to trust the good shepherd. And 
it says that, that Jesus, verse 1, was led by the Spirit, right? Mm -hmm. He's talking about the Holy Spirit, right? Mm -hmm. Not some Holy Spirit, but by the Holy Spirit. And so that tells me that whenever God is allowing something to come into my life, I, I present it. He has sovereignty done that. Every situation that, that we confront, God has a, a sovereignly allowed that to happen to us. You got to see this. He allows it. And if your faith and your breastplate is not properly up, you not, not probably using it, you can find yourself in the territory of uh, the evil one. Look, look at it again. And when Jesus led up of the Spirit, mm. now let's do, do, do this too also. Jesus was a man, mm -hmm. like we are, yet without sin. Mm -hmm. He could be tempted like we are, yet never sin. Yeah. Why? He didn't have a sin nature. The, only, the reason you sin because you have a what? Sin nature. Mm -hmm. And we have to have the full breastplate of righteousness on so that we, when the enemy comes, the Spirit of Christ can maneuver us and enable us to see the onslaughts of the wicked one. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And so Jesus is a perfect example of one who's going out into war, into battle, to help his disciples see how to handle the onslaughts of the wicked one. Mm -hmm. If we didn't have Jesus as an example, we would look to who? Somebody else. Mm -hmm. And Appreciate if you look to somebody else for an example, you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. sure. Right? Mm -hmm. You look to some pastor to tell you the right, he can tell you the right thing, but he's not your example. Mm -hmm. Christ is the model that you should look to. Mm -hmm. Pastor can give good information, good advice, but the thing is you ought to put your faith totally in the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I can't help you. You face a temptation, you're all by yourself. Mm -hmm. As far as I'm concerned, because Christ should be the one allowing you to deal with that temptation. Mm -hmm. All right, you might call me or yell my out for some advice. We can give some advice. But the final person here is who? The Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. He says, then was led up in, by the Spirit mm -hmm. into the wilderness to be what? Mm -hmm. Tempted. Yeah. Every day, mm -hmm. we're going to confront with some temptations. If you don't know how to handle them, you become a victim of the of the tempter. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why it's important that you put on a whole armor, mm -hmm. whole breastplate of righteousness. Uh, Deacon and I were looking at the breastplate of righteousness, the breastplate of a soldier as he goes into battle. Mm -hmm. He has a, comes right across his neck, all the way down, fit them all the way around. Mm -hmm. His arms are also to the middle, but all of his important parts, his heart, his lungs, mm -hmm. his uh, muscles here, all of that was protected mm -hmm. by the armor, the breastplate of righteousness. Satan comes, he's going to try to enter into where you're hurting or where you desire, mm -hmm. in a fleshly mm -hmm. sense. He says, uh, and when they were fasting, and we, when he had fasted for 40 days and 40 nights he afterward what? Hunger. He got hungry. Yeah, hunger. You fast 40 days and 40 That's nights and <laughs> you, some, some of us can't go two days. That's <laughs> me. <laughs> right? Some of us can't go that far. But he took on the concept that Moses had when he fasted 40 days and 40 nights. He went up into the mountains. God ministered to him there. And he came back down and shared with Israel what God had shared with him. Here Jesus did the same thing. Mm -hmm. 40 days, no food, no water. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. And I'm mad. Mm -hmm. Two, I'm hungry. You 40 days, five days, you upset. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. You upset. Mm -hmm. Nothing to eat. The first thing come by, you're going to try to get some to eat. Mm -hmm. And it might have to knock somebody outside the head to get it, but you're going to get it. This is what I'm talking about, how these 
the, the, the breastplate of righteousness protect us from in, in things of that nature. He said, we're 40 days without food. And the tempter came. When you find yourself dependent on something else other than Christ, you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. I want to make this very clear. It's not what I say, but what Christ says. Mm -hmm. He's your Savior, not me. Yeah. I can't save you. I can do a thing worth of, but share some things with you of Christ. You place your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. You place your faith there, I'm guaranteed you'll be all right. Mm -hmm. But place it somewhere else, you're in trouble. Now he says here, yeah, and when that tempter came to him, he said, if thou be the son of God, he said, if you are, he may ask you, you're a child of God? Mm. Or you're a son of God? Or you're a daughter of God? Or are you? That verbal words, that, that phrase may not come out in the temptation, but that temptation de desires you to see that all oh, you're a child of God. Can I say something? Sure. I know, I know, I hear, I hear you, and I know it to be a fact to place your faith in the word of God. But shouldn't I have some expectations of the person that's giving me this word? Sure, sure. He should be uh, mm -hmm. in a position that God has called him to, to sh share the word. And it should be sharing the word, but that word should be not sh not showing who he is, but showing who Christ is. Whenever a man is preaching or teaching and he takes on the glory, then Christ gets nothing. And the believer who's listening never sees Christ. He only sees that man. You have to protect yourself. Put on a whole armor of the breastplate. Don't put your trust in man. Put your trust in God who uses man to glorify God. Amen. I think we we'll see. And the man that you put your trust in, like you, you put. I put my trust in you because you are teaching and preaching the true word. The word is coming from you that God has given you to give me. Sure, but the so, key here is that you make sure that the word that is coming from me has no 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 other motive in in in, in, in mind than to give it to you. Mm -hmm. I have no other reason than preach than give it to you. I don't want any glory. I don't want you looking at me. You see what I'm saying? Once a man begins to look at another man, then you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. so look beyond the person and see Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Don't put your trust in a man. He can't save you. He can't even save himself. Mm -hmm. Christ has to be the one to save him. And I'm not talking against men here. Mm -hmm. I'm talking in the sense of Christ. Is, he set the example here. Mm -hmm. Put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. In the one that God has sent to, to save you. To wash you clean of your of your own sins, to set you free. I'm a free. You can you don't you don't be captive to any man or to any organization. You see what I'm saying? Don't be a captive. Be the one that God has set free to be free in Christ. That He can do the things that Christ desired Him to do in the Spirit. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. When the tempter came, mm -hmm. he's he's watching Jesus. He knows exactly who Jesus is. Mm -hmm. He's not confused about that. Mm -hmm. But he knows that Jesus has a what? A human nature. He knows that Jesus has a human nature. And he can be tempted. Right? Mm -hmm. Anyone that has a human nature can be tempted. Mm -hmm. Whether or not you go along with the temptation is another story. Mm -hmm. yeah, all of us are tempted mm -hmm. to do something or to think something or to go someplace. Or to get involved with some situation. We're all tempted. Mm -hmm. If you don't know Jesus, you don't know what you should be involved with or what you not should be involved with. Alright? Mm -hmm. Jesus is going to lead you and guide you where? Into all truth. Into his truth, not some, some denominational truth, or not some ideology, some theology about some man or some woman, but in, the, in Christ Jesus. <clears throat> right? And you've got to have a whole <clears throat> arm on. So you can be easily emotionally involved with something. Mm -hmm. I hope that makes sense. Your emotions could be the reason we're doing something or we're trusting something. Mm -hmm. It's not the spirit, it's your emotions. Mm -hmm. And it, it can be so deceitful that the, that the devil can convince you that this is what you should be 
you you, you have your trust in your emotions. You can see that later on in this passage of scripture. Don't allow your emotions to take control of your pattern of thought. Mm. Or to do what is right in the emotion, but do what's right in the spirit. Hallelujah. You see what I'm saying here? Mm -hmm. Big difference. Mm -hmm. Your emotions, you should have your breastplate on to, to protect your emotions. Mm -hmm. All of us have emotions. Mm -hmm. You may like this, I may like that, uh, you may like this, and you don't like that. I have a problem with it. But when it comes down to doing things in the emotion, that's of the flesh and not of, of Christ. I don't shake your hand because uh, my emotions say you, you're bad. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't go near you because uh, my emotions that dictate to me that I shouldn't be involved with you. Mm -hmm. and this is what the emotions does. Mm -hmm. But every believer should be able to go beyond his emotions and serve Christ and the Spirit. Mm -hmm. sure. So the Spirit yeah. is a beyond your emotions. Mm -hmm. If you allow your emotions to control, control you, he is controlling you and not the spirit. <clears throat> can you see that? Hope you can. You don't allow your emotions, your, your flesh for emotion, to make decisions. You allow the spirit to make decisions yes. based on Christ's true work and his work in your life. You want to grow, you can't trust your emotions. Mm -hmm. You want to grow, you trust the spirit of Christ. You deny your emotions. Don't fall in love with your emotions. And don't fall in anything that has your emotions trapped. Look here. But when they said, verse 4, but he answered and said, it is written, man, man, who is man? Us. <clears throat> Women. Mankind, mm -hmm. this is what it says here, shall not, shall not live by bread alone. Mm -hmm. My emotions, uh, I got to live, I got, I got to think about this too. Well, is Christ speaking to you? Mm -hmm. What is he saying? Mm -hmm. A lot of times we go along with our emotions and Christ is speaking, but we ain't heard nothing he said because our emotions have come in and speaking loudly. Mm -hmm. You should do this. Mm -hmm. You should do that. You should buy this. You should buy that. And we have not given the spirit of Christ any chance to speak. Look here. And he said, he answered himself to him, man shall not live by bread alone, but Jesus by every, he, he'd already been fasting 40 days and 40 nights. So the flesh was crying out right there for what? Food, yeah. water, my sister, my brother, um, something, I, I, I just got to get, 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 get somebody. No. He allowed his flesh to control his motives and his thoughts pattern. He allowed the spirit to do that. You see? Sometimes we get a little emotion and we allow our emotions to dictate to us what to do. Mm -hmm. And we say, Lord, no, Lord ain't told you nothing like that. You do what the spirit tells you to do. Your life is a sacrificial life. Right? You give your life as a sacrifice. Every day you wake up and there's a there's something of the cross waiting for you. To be, to be dealt with. Jesus, I think Paul said, every day, the cross. You should carry the cross every day. What prayer? The cross of Christ is killing off the old Adamic man. You, it's a growing process. And not saying that you have to go 40 days and 40 nights without food and water, but he's saying that there comes time where you have to make a decision about what is right here. Is it Christ here? Yes, it's Christ. But uh, no, no, no buts, but is it Christ? Yes, it's Christ. You follow him. Allow him to, to provide you with everything you need. He will. Most time we figure that we gotta get this ourselves. I gotta get this myself. Well, is it you or is it Christ that desires that? Sometimes it, it could be you that have this desire mm -hmm. to want something. Christ has nothing to do with that. Living a sacrificial life is key to defending off the onslaughts of the what? Wicked one. <clears throat> you got to remember this, uh, church. Mm -hmm. That Satan is a mighty what? Deceiver. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't start thinking like that. They can't deceive. You could be deceived. I can be deceived. Everybody can be deceived. Mm -hmm. Don't think because you've been in this 
church a long time, been to the mission a long time. You can't be, you can be deceived. Mm -hmm. And Satan loves you to, to deny that you can't be deceived. Oh, yeah. He got you already. <clears throat> he got your mind already. He can lead and guide you into anything because you don't think you can be deceived. You's a lie. You can't be deceived. Satan is a deceiver. A master deceiver. He deceived Eve and deceived Abraham. Adam. He can deceive. That's his mighty, that's his, that's his, that's his business. That's his nature is to what? Deceive. <clears throat> a lie. Satan say the father of lies. Jesus ain't the father of lies. Mm -hmm. Right? So if you listen to or, or listen to that, make sure it's the spirit of, his, of an, from another source. If from another source, then it's a lie. Mm -hmm. And Satan can, can write scripture mm -hmm. and write little passages to make you think you're all right, but mm -hmm. at the same time, you've been deceived. Mm -hmm. I, I think there's a passage in the... Uh, Satan knows the, the Bible part of better than, than we do. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sure he does it. He knows it better than the words. Mm -hmm. And he can take the Bible and twist it around to fit his format. Mm -hmm. Wake up. Don't go to sleep. Wake up. He's a deceiver. Mm -hmm. And he can use the word to deceive you. Deceive me. Just because you got a Bible and I got a Bible, you better make sure that the Spirit of Christ is leading and guiding you. And over a period of time, as you're growing in Scripture, you determine then whether or not it's for Christ or not. <clears throat> no man is without fault, <clears throat> without being tempted. No man without making mistakes. But that, when that, and, and, and growing, that's what you're going to make. If you, if you don't grow, you can't make any mistakes. Mm -hmm. If you're growing, you're going to make some mistakes. Mm -hmm. That's why you keep the arm of, 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 of righteousness on, breastplate of righteousness, and at the same time, allow the Spirit of Christ to help you to see those areas that you fail in. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. If you don't, if you don't, if you, if you stay in that same area, you never what? Grow. Mm -hmm. You stay right there. Well, if that makes sense? That the Spirit lead and God, that He's leading you out of darkness into what? Into the marvelous light. So, but you, if you're in darkness and you have Christ in you, but you've, you've been, you, 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 you're swallowing this lie, you haven't grown. And, be, and actually, you become argumentative and very critical of others. You should never do that. Allow the Spirit to lead and God, and not your own emotions and where you think you are. Right? Look here. Then the devil took him. See, the devil took him again. Christ says, God has allowed this to occur. If the devil is taking, allowing, God is allowing the devil to do something in your life, it's what? For you. God has no personal reasons here. He wants you to grow. God ain't punishing you. He wants you to grow. He wants you to see. Right? Yes, amen. Many times my dad, if I got a certain age, he said, boy, Billy, you can do this yourself now. Go ahead. I'm going to keep an eye on you, though. And I might mess up. He said, well, you should have did it this way or that way. He didn't chew me out. He just let me see that I could do it a better, a better way. And the Father leads and guides us. He leads and guides us into all truth, right? As he leads and guides us, he allow certain things to happen so that we see where we're with error. Mm -hmm. This is not what I want to harm, will it? Mm -hmm. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Yes. And I, sometimes I lean to my what? Oh, own I'm understanding. Yes. And I'm in trouble. Mm -hmm. And God allows that. Hopefully that through me leading and guiding into, into those areas where I should have been, I have the Spirit of Christ to help lead me out. Yes. Mm -hmm. I want to be corrected. This is what I think is occurring here. You keep your whole, keep that breastplate of armor on. Because Satan loves to deal with your cardinal mind, your thinking, your decision making, personal relationship with family, husband, wife, children, grandchildren. He, he, he stand around always trying to tell a lie or present something that's tear stuff all to pieces. I know this is right. You don't know nothing. 
or let the spirit lead you in trouble. I want to know how to treat another person, right? In love, right? You keep that arm on, and the spirit will lead you and guide you into all truth. Well, of course, if he's leading and guiding you into all truth, you're going to make some mistakes, my brother and sister. Mm -hmm. That's why you go to ask God to forgive you. Sometimes we make a mistake and we don't ask God to forgive us. We keep right on what we're doing. Because mm -hmm. we feel all right. Mm -hmm. Forgive those who trespass against you. Mm -hmm. right? That's that what it said, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, how can you grow unless you keep your arm on to forgive those that trespass against you? Right? Those that hurt you. Those that told lies on you. Those who have no intention for your good. And you find those out there. Mm -hmm. But we're not upset with those. We're upset with ourselves because we didn't see the lie. Mm -hmm. And then our intention of the lie mm -hmm. was to keep us captive in the flesh. Mm -hmm. Where we won't be no good to God for witnessing. Mm -hmm. We don't bring anybody to Christ. Mm -hmm. We don't share Christ with anybody. Mm -hmm. Right? Go into our world and make, world and make disciples. Mm -hmm. Very little that's done. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Satan can keep you bound in the ideology of you all right. Mm -hmm. I, you don't care about anybody else. Mm -hmm. Everybody else can go to hell. Mm -hmm. But you good. Satan has deceived you. Mm -hmm. And think just because you all right, you ain't gonna you, you ain't got to worry about nothing. Mm -hmm. You good. God gonna take care of you. Sure he's gonna take care of you. But he, I'm thinking that God wants you to grow it too. And mature. And live a life that glorifies God. Mm -hmm. Come down to glorify God. What we do? Many times we join that crowd. That's not glorifying God. Mm -hmm. Just so we can remain friends and take them. They, they love us and we love them. We don't necessarily love what they do, but we, we don't want to lose them. Who gonna lo you lose them or Christ lose them? Mm -hmm. If you lose them, he lost them. He's valuable to Christ, not to you. Right? How, how are souls? Are, are you concerned about souls? Or are you only concerned about yourself? Mm -hmm. And I'll prove of that is look at yourself. Are you reaching out? Mm -hmm. Jesus said, don't let that happen. Mm -hmm. Go you into all the world and we can quote that. Mm -hmm. Make disciples. Mm -hmm. And I'll be with you, mm -hmm. ye until the end of the world. See, in going to make disciples, it's uh, quite a stressful job. Yeah. But if you if you allow the stress to get you, then the Satan is keeping you under that stress, mm -hmm. right? Jesus mm -hmm. said, "Go, I'll, I'll empower you to go." Mm -hmm. yes. But if you don't go, then that's some that's some reason you're not going. What are those reasons? Mm -hmm. Satan is a deceiver. Such a deceiver that we don't even know he's deceiving us. Mm. All right? Yeah. If we knew if, if we knew exactly he was deceiving us, we'd be all right. We wouldn't need the Holy Spirit. We know every time Satan comes deceiving us, I don't need the Spirit. I know I know what's right. No, you don't. Mm. <laughs> Satan is a liar. And the father of lies. Mm. And as long as we entertain his his uh his his uh his his speaking and entertaining his his, talk, his thoughts to us, we can be no, of no real value to Christ our God, Christ Almighty. Mm -hmm. Look at this other one. Then the devil take it in where? Verse uh, 5. Yeah. Took it where? Yeah. Satan took it. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. He took the, the man. Now remember, in Jesus was the Holy Spirit and also man. Right. Mm -hmm. In us is the Holy Spirit and what? Man. Mm -hmm. These two are there. Mm -hmm. But our minds mm -hmm. can go either way. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Let this mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. Yes. Be not conformed to this world, but be retransformed by the renewing of your mind. Yes. Your mind is key to actively doing things in Christ. And you must know the word to properly follow Christ. Right? Yeah. You, see, you, you're, the, you're the key here. Mm -hmm. 
the flesh or the spirit. You have both of them here. But your mind has to be the one to make up that reason why you go or don't go. But when you do go and you find out you made a mistake, what you do? Get on your knees and repent. Ask God to help and lead you and guide you to it in all truth. Because walking in, in this world, and, and, and you're going to make some mistakes as a believer. Mm -hmm. You're not perfect. Mm -hmm. And God knows that. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, when it's all over, God's going to judge every man according to his what? His mm -hmm. words. Yeah. Don't be upset with somebody else. Mm -hmm. What do you mean get mad with somebody else? Mm -hmm. Get yourself together. Make sure you're all right. Mm -hmm. And that, that, that other person may see that and he may change or she may change because of the Christ in you. But if he keeps seeing you, why should I embrace Christ that all I can see is you? Gracious. Why? Why? Why should I come to church? All I see is you. All I hear is you. I don't hear Christ. I hear you. You see what I'm saying? I think that's key. Satan is a what? Mighty deceiver. And regardless as to how long you've been in Christ or how you got in Christ, that old Adamic nature is still active. Mm -hmm. If you allow it to. If you allow it to. It can't act unless you allow it to. Right? Because you got the spirit of Christ in you and it can overcome anything of the flesh. Mm -hmm. But if we don't know that, we we'll allow the flesh to make decisions. What to say, how to say it, when to say it. I ain't going to say it. I said it once before I ain't saying it no more. All that kind of stuff. <laughs> See, that comes out of the flesh. And Satan has his trap. Bound up. Mm -hmm. You're a good, good little Christian, but you ain't much of an overcoming Christian. Mm -hmm. Amen? Only when you get to a place that you allow Christ to use you in the spirit to magnify him, to glorify him. And when the person sees, don't see you, they see this body, but actually they experience Christ in you the whole glory. Make good sense to me. Mm -hmm. Keep on that breastplate of righteousness. Mm -hmm. The center of your being is your carnal man. Mm -hmm. You're thinking in the, in the carnality of your flesh. You had constant war with the spirit. Right? Because mm -hmm. the spirit wants you to do one thing. And the flesh wants you to do something else. Right? Mm -hmm. And so I'm sad to say sometimes... Most of the time, we give in to what the flesh wants. Because it makes us feel good, and we gave them some payback and whatever. Yeah, yeah, you get them back. What you talking about? Get who back? Mm -hmm. You're just spitting in Jesus' face. Mm -hmm. You're just spitting in his face. He forgives you. Get up off, off, you, off your knees and, and walk in the Spirit. Mm -hmm. And you shall not what? Fulfill the lust of the flesh. So many believers. I've been there myself. And even sometime now, I've been in the ministry for 40 years. I do things in the flesh. Mm -hmm. But I ask God to forgive me once I find out mm -hmm. to forgive me and watch me clean. So I won't make that up, that mistake again. You shouldn't run from the, from the truth. You should run to the truth mm -hmm. that God may set you up free. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the devil take him into the city and set him on the high. In the, in the temple. Mm -hmm. Religious leaders. Mm -hmm. You want to have a whole bunch of people under your authority? Let me put let me put them under you. Mm -hmm. I have you over everything. Mm -hmm. And Satan is a religious person. Mm -hmm. not, a, not a spiritual person in the sense of, of trusting Christ, but he, he's a religious person. Mm -hmm. He loves religion. He wants you trapped in religion. Mm -hmm. In religion. Mm -hmm. Religion has traditions, tradition, mm -hmm. philosophies, uh, denominationalism. That's religion. Mm -hmm. I'm not speaking against any of this stuff, but I'm saying Satan had this stuff set up mm -hmm. where he can keep you trapped. Mm -hmm. And you don't walk in the spirit, you walk in that philosophy that's preached to you every Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. That makes sense? That tradition. Oh, we don't do things like that now. Well, why? Well, that they do it? No, 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 we don't do stuff like that. We 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 good little whatever. Yeah, they do it that way. We do it this way. What 
somehow I ought to be doing something in the spirit here. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Brother? Yes, sir. I mean, every believer ought to be under Christ's teaching. Not saying that, I mean, under, under leadership of the Holy Spirit. All right? Then when we make mistakes or do something wrong, we can come to each other and share with us, ask God to forgive us, and we can go on about our business. But sometimes it doesn't happen. There's a lot of order, man, and fussing, and in the in the settings, in Sunday school, doing the preaching. Somebody upset with the preacher. They're upset with the deacon. They're upset with the mission board. And they heard nothing. Because the preacher preaching himself in defense of him. Who he is. What he's about. You better wake up, church. Don't go to sleep on Jesus. Because one day we're going to all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. Mm -hmm. And every man's work shall be tried to see what sort it is. See, so you, you can do a work in the flesh that looks good, sound good. I won't say smell that good, but it looks good in the flesh. Oh, he did a good job today. But wait till you get home. What are you doing there? Mm. What are you doing on his job? Yeah. Somewhere in this acting, you, you have to stop acting like a good little Christian. Mm. Then get out of sight of the church and you act like somebody else. Mm. You, you see what I'm saying? Mix a lot. You, you, if you're going to be a, a believer, you don't change your conduct or behavior mm -hmm. in any situation. Mm -hmm. If you think it's going to cause some trials and tribulations, you don't go. If you think it's, it's a, too much pressure here, you don't go. The Spirit won't lead you there. If it, and now, if the Spirit, if you get caught in a situation, it's because God has allowed you to be caught there so you can see. God has no anger and no frustration against any believer. He took that all at the cross on Jesus. Jesus died for our sins, our lies, our cheat. Everything Jesus died for it all, he set us free to walk in the Spirit and not in the flesh. But there's a process that you go through walking out of the flesh out of the flesh, more and more into the spirit. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're caught up in that flesh with stuff, that's all. You have some problems. Mm -hmm. Some real problems. Because you're not allowing the, the, the fence, the, the breastplate of righteousness, and God has given us his righteousness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not my righteousness, but his righteousness. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not afraid to get right with God. Mm -hmm. God already made me right with him. The problem I have is to walk in that righteousness mm -hmm. and not fulfill what? The lust of the flesh. Because mm -hmm. the flesh is powerful. It loves attention. It loves pats on the back. Mm -hmm. Even when you ain't dead right, it loves a pat on the back. Mm -hmm. Even when you're rotten as, a, as an apple, the flesh loves a pat on the back. Mm -hmm. Oh, you did fine. What, what the God says about your, you, what you did. Mm -hmm. To him, it may look rotten. It probably does. Because it wasn't done in what? It wasn't done in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Keep that breastplate of righteousness up. Mm -hmm. Then the devil take him into the holy city, set him up out here. Mm -hmm. Look out there, Jesus. All those religions mm -hmm. and money mm -hmm. and prestige mm -hmm. and power. You be sitting right at the top. Mm -hmm. Do that. You be all right. It's the same discipline. Mm -hmm. yeah. He wants to control the believer in the spirit and he wants to keep the one blinded that is blinded. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So I want you if, you, if you go there and sit there, you operate out of where? Out of the carnal mind. Instead of a spiritual mind, you go sit over the temple and take care of all this you be working on, on the mind or my tutelage. Mm. Satan has students. Just like God has students. Mm -hmm. He has religious students mm -hmm. who obey the things of the flesh. It look good, it sound good, it smell good, but it's of the flesh. Mm -hmm. You have to ask God about that. Power to distinguish those little lies that strip in that appears to be truth. You want God to help you to see through that. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Number six, and 
saith him to, unto him, If thou be the Son of God. If you're a child of God, no, respect somebody. Look here. If you're a child of God. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Another thing that Satan likes to do, <clears throat> he likes to present doubt. Mm. See, if, if I can get you to accept the fact that if you're a child of God, mm -hmm. and some pastors, if you're a child of God, mm -hmm. you do what I tell you to do. You do just like I tell you, if you're a child of God. Mm -hmm. Well, Satan does that too. I'm not saying anything wrong with anything that was said, but Satan does that too, if you're a child of God. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Look what it says. And says unto him, Jesus, if thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down from, for it is written, he shall give the angels con uh, concerning thee and their hand, they shall bear thee up, least any time that you get dash your foot against the stone. Mm -hmm. Cast yourself down. Mm -hmm. Well, Christ, Christ, Christ probably could have cast yourself down, mm -hmm. but he was operating, allowing Satan to attack him in the what? Flesh. Mm -hmm. You go cast yourself down mm -hmm. off a building. You know where you're going to wind up at? Yeah. Bust them on the ground now. <laughs> <laughs> and he can get that, that outrageous by saying something along those lines. If, you, if you're a child of God, you should be doing this. Mm. You better make sure you're doing something in the spirit and not in the, uh, in the traditional sense of things that people want you to do. Pastors want you to do. Mm -hmm. Leaders want you to do. I'm not preaching against anybody here. I'm saying evaluate everything that's said, everything that put before you, for you evaluate it. Amen. Look at it from the spirit, from the word, from, from the scriptures. A lot of spirit of Christ that help you to make a decision. Not based on some, on some teaching or some theology or some Bible. Let, ask God to help you see. If you can't see, ask someone to help you see. As a brothers. Where would two come together? I'm, I'm in the midst of you. You can ask. If they come together in my name, mm -hmm. the Spirit is going to reveal to you what you need to hear. Because no man has all the answers. I don't have all the answers. No other man has all the answers. But you come together, you might get a, a truth. If the individual are not jealous, and, see, that's another separate tactic to say news. Envy, envy. I'm this and I'm that. Well, you may be, but you're actually no good to God because you're in the flesh. Mm -hmm. When men come together as, as sisters and brothers, we should be humble so that Christ can maneuver and work through all of us to get a conclusive answer. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And no one has should have the right answer all the time. And when right, if, I'm, if I'm a pastor, if a pastor is, is listening and he's there, if the if, if spirit of grace has already given the, the proper answer, he don't have anything to add to that. Mm -hmm. What you think, Pastor? I agree with you. Mm -hmm. This is why I look at no, I agree with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. This is what he said, this is how he unveiled it. It is true. Mm -hmm. You don't take glory for anything that Christ gives you in the spirit. Mm -hmm. It's not yours, it belongs to him. Mm -hmm. And he should get all of the what? Glory. glory. Don't get too big headed. You may find yourself in trouble. Look at this. Jesus said unto him, It is written, Thou shalt not or tempt the Lord. Tempt the Lord. Have you saying something or doing something, you tempt the Lord. The Lord ain't got nothing to do with it. You fall on your face. Well, Lord, I, I thought the Lord told me that. I believe, I believe he spoke to me. He ain't spoke to you about nothing. All that stuff come out of your cardinal mind. Hmm. The Adamic mind. Let this mind be in you, what? In Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. I'll say it again. Who thought it out robbery to be equal with God. The mind. The spirit. God feeds through the word. The spirit tells you how to act and conduct yourself. Every believer has a different walk and a different talk. Different language. But they also come together in Christ. He's our source of life, our source of uh, energy, our source of speech, our source of whatever we do. It comes from Him and nobody else. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. 
If that were the case, then we could go anywhere and do anything. And that's probably what a lot of believers are doing because they're not led and guided by the Spirit. And get a devil take him under a seeding mountain mm -hmm. and show him all the kingdoms of the world. Oh, mm -hmm. look at here, Jesus. Look at here. Mm -hmm. You can have all this. Mm -hmm. Look at look at that. Look at United States. You can have all that. Mm -hmm. Look at Russia. Look at Persia. Look at Africa. All the kingdoms of the world. Mm -hmm. You can have all that. Mm -hmm. The universities, you can have them all. Mm -hmm. The college, you can have them all. Mm -hmm. Everybody could be under your authority. Mm -hmm. Gracious. Everybody be doing exactly what you want them to do. Mm -hmm. Now he's talking to the flesh mm -hmm. of Christ. Mm -hmm. Because God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself. But he had to, he went through this process mm -hmm. to help us see that we got Christ in us. But the devil, at the same time, is always attacking. Mm -hmm. Trying to find where you're at. Mm -hmm. And does that, and then Christ sees where you're at. And if he asks for help, he can lead you and guide you up into all truth. Mm -hmm. Each believer must stay humble in order that Christ may achieve the eternal purpose that he desires in the believer's life. Mm -hmm. If you, you got a lot of pride, how can he help you full of pride? You, nobody can tell you anything. You're arrogant. Mike can share you with that. You got it all. You know it all. Well, that's that's a danger in there. Right? Arrogant. Selfish. I'm just telling you the truth. So I've been there and I got something myself. I hope to God when I see it that I will repent and ask God to fill me further with his His life in, my, in that part that, that's been detrimental to my spiritual growth. Mm -hmm. You don't get mad at the truth. You embrace the truth. And hope the truth can set you free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he says, oh yes, verse uh, 9. <clears throat> then he said to him, these things I will give you. How can Satan give Jesus anything? Mm -hmm. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. The fleshly world here mm -hmm. is Satan's Satan. dominion. Right. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Mm -hmm. So if I want something of the system, mm -hmm. I get in the system, begin to work in the system. Mm -hmm. And Satan through his diabolical scheming can promote me here, mm -hmm. here, and here. And I'm dumb, I don't know nothing about it. All I do, I did the hard work and I'm here. Mm -hmm. You know, you know how you got there. Mm -hmm. All you know, you just did some hard work. Yeah, you did some hard work. In the flesh, in the cardinal realm. Mm -hmm. That's why you're leading this company. Because your mind is strictly of the world. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. You see this? Christ saw it all. Mm -hmm. He looked at it. Mm -hmm. Say, so I, I'll give you this house as mm -hmm. long as you stay where I do what I want you to do. It may take a few years, but you can get it. Mm -hmm. It may take a, f a few uh, uh, navigating uh, things that ideals and things that come along the way but your the, the focus of Satan is to deal with materialistic and cardinal things of the world. Mm. That's what he's sharing with Christ. I can give all this to you. Mm. He said I can give it all to you. Mm -hmm. He can. This world is passing away. Mm -hmm. Jesus is going to come back in and set up a new kingdom. So this kingdom right now in the, in the spiritual sense of darkness it belongs to the, the, the evil one. And God allows them to work here for a reason. His, his eternal purpose. Mm -hmm. You see that? Mm -hmm. And so if you get caught, caught up in something that you're trying to achieve, you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. You should be trying to stay with Christ as best you know how. And stay in the word. When the truth is told, repent of it. Ask God to give you, lead and guide you into the Holy, with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. That will keep you from getting trapped over there in the cardinal mind, mm -hmm. cardinal world of Satan. Too many believers are, are trapped there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're successful. But who, who got them successful? Satan did. Mm -hmm. And so if I, if I want loyalty from you, you have to stay loyal to this particular thing I'm doing. Mm -hmm. God going to reward you. God going to take care of you. Mm -hmm. Is it God though? Or is it that particular thing that you're involved with? We're all in system. 
Jesus said to him, Get thee hence, for it is written, Thou shalt thou shalt not thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou what? Serve. serve. Yeah. Worship and serve. Two different things. Mm -hmm. Worship, I adore him. Mm -hmm. Serve as I want to do what he wants me to do. Not you, Satan. Satan, you got some ideas too. <clears throat> and it sounds very good. But how can I tell if it's Satan or is it uh, come from Christ? The word. Mm -hmm. Compare scripture with scripture. Mm -hmm. It'll help you see whether or not you're involved with something that's a Christ and not a Christ. Amen. And the and the and the and the script and the devil knows the word, mm -hmm. as I said before. And so he knows how to twist it and maneuver it and, <clears throat> and use it to keep you, keep all us captive. Mm -hmm. He's a deceiver. Mm -hmm. And the bold not where? Mm -hmm. All right. So it could be sure he could be saying some nice things. Yeah. And we said, well, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe that. I believe what? You better check it out with the word of God and allow the spirit of Christ to help you see. Amen. It sounds good. Well, it's gonna sound good if it's coming from the flesh. But if Christ has asked you something to do, ah, I don't know about that. But he asks you to sacrifice. Yeah. Allow the cross to deal with that which you keep pushing aside. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Ask him to help you deal with that. Because you can't in, embrace Christ if you keep pushing aside those mm -hmm. challenges that come from the work of the Holy Spirit in your life. Right. How can you grow? You can have a lot of knowledge of, knowledge of what? Mm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Who, how to maneuver around stuff. Mm. Instead of allowing Christ to work with you, we have a mind to maneuver around stuff. Did I, did I say? Mm. He's a liar, mm. and they're both not in the truth. So Paul says in the book of uh, Ephesians, mm -hmm. Finally, my brother, be strong where? Chapter 6, verse 10. Finally, my brother. And Paul had went through all of this. Now, the, 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 uh, I don't think the gospel was written after Paul was dead. John wrote the gospel that up there in the book of uh, Revelation. Listen to this. So what Paul experienced was trust in Christ. He was a Pharisee. He was a religious leader one time. But God stopped him onto the master's road, right? Yeah. And put him into the body of Christ. So to say that Paul had no experience of the religious realm and also the spiritual realm is to not think properly about how God had dealt with him. Paul had a, just a perfect reason and perfect knowledge of the fact that you need to put on a whole armor. Mm -hmm. If you're going to face this crowd out here, you need to put on a whole armor. Look what it said. My brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Mm -hmm. Right? Be strong. Paul was weak, but the religious leaders thought he was strong. Mm -hmm. He was talked about it and pat on the back because of his religious leading. Mm -hmm. But as soon as he turned to Christ, his religious leader was no longer amplified, no longer commended. He was now being persecuted because he was a child of God. Mm -hmm. Big difference. Mm -hmm. But look what Paul said. Put on the whole armor. Mm -hmm. You got it. Mm -hmm. You got it. Put it on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Don't be ashamed. Put it on. You fight for Christ. You're a soldier on the battlefield in the spiritual battle. Mm -hmm. You're fighting the evil one. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the yeah. devil. Yeah. Jesus gave us an example back in the book of Matthew. Uh, uh, Matthew right? Mm -hmm. He's in us. He can achieve things in us if we allow him to. Yeah. And with the knowledge you have of the word and how to aptly apply the word so that you can get victory at victory over victory every day in Christ. For we wrestle. See? It's a wrestling match. And if you look back at what went on with Jesus, it was a, a wrestling match. The flesh and the spirit. For flesh and blood, against the principalities, against the powers 
against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual uh, spiritual wickedness in high places. Yes. Wherefore, take upon, upon you the whole arm of God, that you may be able to stand and withstand the evil day, and have done all to what? To stand. Yes. Yes. Done all in, not, 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 not in the flesh, in the spirit. The, set, the devil can't defeat a believer who's living in the spirit. The flesh is going back to the dust from which it came. But the spirit will return to God who, who gave it. Make sure you walk in, in the spirit. Stand therefore. Yes. Stand. He said. Your loins girt, the truth and having the breastplate of righteousness. Everything around you is under the protection of Christ's righteousness. Yes, you, you, it can protect you from the onslaught of the wicked one. Yes. His righteousness. Mm -hmm. You don't have to cheat it. You already got it. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. yes. You ain't got to go working for nothing. Mm -hmm. Christ already gave it to you. It's free. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Wow. Mm -hmm. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel. Mm -hmm. Ready to preach. Go ye into all the world. Mm -hmm. Teach my gospel. Baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Above all things, Lord, keep that shield up here. Mm -hmm. huh? Jesus kept the shield up when Satan was tapping it. He kept it up. Right? Mm -hmm. Wherewith you shall be able to quench. Mm -hmm. See, he's firing off fiery dots. Mm -hmm. And our minds, if we're not protected, our minds catch all of them. That's why some of us can't sleep at night. Mm -hmm. Satan put too many fire dots in our minds. Mm -hmm. I wish I could go to sleep. But too many, too much stuff, too much stuff running around in the mind. Mm -hmm. Keep you up, right? Mm -hmm. But rest, peaceful night's sleep. Come when you say your prayers and whatever you do, and ask God to give you a peaceful mind. Mm -hmm. And you repent of all that stuff. Perhaps you did that day. And sometimes you need God to remind you that you messed up. Mm -hmm. If we think we're good, we don't pray about asking God to forgive us or something. We don't, we don't ask God. We, God, we, God. We're pretty sure that we did the right thing all day. But I don't know any believer that go through all day and don't do something wrong. <laughs> That's why you need to ask God to forgive you. Lord, show me where I messed up at, why I should have been a little bit better. But pride... That's come from Satan too. Pride will hinder you from doing that. Because you think you're all right. You're in trouble. Take on the helmet of salvation. And the sword of the spirit. Get that Bible. Know them verses. That you may. Which is the word of God. Praying always. For all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. How many mm -hmm. times do we think we pray, but we pray in the flesh? Mm -hmm. The prayer sounds so nice, but they're, they're fleshly. Mm -hmm. They're fleshly prayer. They sound good. Satan is a, as a master deceiver. You have to understand that. Mm -hmm. You want to do God's will. Right? Mm -hmm. So you just pray in the spirit to God to God, to God to do his will. Mm -hmm. Take the heaven of salvation and swore the spirit to the word of God. Praying always with prayer and supplication in the spirit, watching thereunto with all his perseverance and supplication for all the Watching! Mm. Make sure what you're saying is in the spirit. Mm -hmm. And for me, mm -hmm. and Elder Myers, and for all of us that are medicine in the spirit, that we stay in the spirit. Don't venture outside. Because it sounds good and look good, and we can get a, a bunch of people to like us. Well, that's wrong also, because they like you, and don't know, don't, don't know about Jesus. Mm -hmm. They see a lot of you, mm -hmm. right? Don't know about Jesus, because mm -hmm. everything is about you. Mm -hmm. When everything becomes about us, people have a real tough time seeing Jesus. Mm -hmm. Tough time. You know what I'm saying? Christ should be our Christ should be the example. In every believer's life, I'm putting on Christ mm -hmm. and not something else. And for me, the others, yeah. verse 19, will be given me. Paul said, thou speak boldly. Mm -hmm. Open my mouth. Mm -hmm. Didn't he? Mm -hmm. 
Because Paul knew that the, 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 the enemy, the devil, would try his best, very best, but you keep your mouth shut. Mm. He don't mind your open that belongs to his prayer, not something that belongs to him. But Paul said, keep my mouth open where I can preach and teach the word of God. Verse 22. For which I am an ambassador. What? A representative. A person that has uh, something to share. In bonds, I'm in prison, but that therein I, I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Put on the breastplate of righteousness, my friends, yeah. my, my brothers and sisters. Don't let the lack of anything deter you. God will reward you at, when he sees you at works that are done in the body. Amen? Mm -hmm. Not about people. About the works that you've done in the body of Christ. Right? That's how you, here it was each of us individually. Because all, all of us are members of the what? The body of Christ. Mm -hmm. So each in the member, member in, of the body of Christ that has done that particular work will see the reward for the work they've done in the body. Mm -hmm. Arms, legs, mm -hmm. Preacher, teacher, uh, deacon, uh, elder, uh, bishop, or uh, uh, mama, or daddy, or sister, or brother. If you've done that work, you will be rewarded for in, in the body of Christ when you get there. If you haven't done that work, there, there, there may be a reason why you haven't done that work, or why we haven't done that work. It may be because we've been deceived by the what? Evil one. And remember, he's very deceptive. Very, very deceptive. So when you talk with a sister or brother, make sure your Bible is there and then you can look at it and find places to pass the scripture, but verify in the spirit those things that you share. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. Any questions? I'm finished up for today. Mm -hmm. Put on the breastplate of righteousness. Mm -hmm. And don't take it off. <laughs>